The Japan the Tsunami, Tsunami of 2011 by Alex Davison and Charlie Boiler. The Japan Tsunami was a tragic natural disaster, and the earthquake that caused this tragedy was one of the top 20 biggest earthquakes ever recorded. The earthquake of Monday, March 11th of 2011 occurred in the northwestern Pacific Ocean at 546. The depth was 32 kilometers, which is quite shallow. The earthquake was six minutes long and occurred 232 miles away from Tokyo. There were numbers of foreshocks and hundreds of aftershocks. These aftershocks follow Amoni's Law, which states that aftershocks become less and less frequent over time, but can take years to finally disappear. The earthquake had a 9.0 magnitude and the early warning system was said to save many lives. And the warning system used was the earthquake early warning system that included 1,000 seismometers in Japan. The message was delivered 8 seconds after the first P wave was detected. An aftershock is a smaller burst of shaking than the main event, which in this case is the earthquake that caused the Japan tsunami. At least four people were killed during the aftershock that happened off the coast of Sendai, and electricity was cut off in most of northern Japan. Also, an aftershock in Fukushima killed at least three people and caused additional damage. For the Japanese, and the situation couldn't get much worse. It was a 9.0 earthquake that caused this tsunami. The tsunami swept over a total area of 561 kilometers squared. The epicenter was 40 kilometers, 43 miles east of the Oshika Peninsula of Tohoku. The Japan tsunami of 2011 was one of the five biggest tsunamis to hit since tsunami recordings began in 1900. The National Police Agency recorded 15,880 deaths, 6,135 people injured, and 2,694 people missing. There were also 129,225 buildings that completely collapsed, 254,204 buildings half collapsed, and 691,766 buildings damaged. In northeastern Japan, roads were damaged, there were fires in many places, and dams collapsed. The Japanese Prime Minister, Naoto Kan, said there were 4.4 million households left without electricity and 1.5 million houses left without water. He also said that this was the biggest crisis for Japan since 65 years ago when World War II ended. This tsunami caused the nuclear reactor at Fukushima to experience a loss of power which resulted in the eventual release of nuclear reaction. This happened just off the coast of a small peninsula. This nuclear reaction was a very dangerous and caused large amounts of radiation to be released into the air. This could cause harm to people of Japan because nuclear re radiation could potentially cause cancer. The nuclear power workers risked their lives by going into the nuclear facility even though there were dangerous amounts of radiation there. The radiation amount was so high, people close to the site had to be evacuated. Most of the nuclear generators exploded, so that left the Japanese at a disadvantage because even when the country recovers from the tsunami, they will have little electricity left. This tsunami caused Japan a lot of damage. People got warned about the tsunami by the Japan Meteorological Survey, and it was addressed as a major tsunami considering it was 60 or more feet high. The tsunami covered a total area of 217 square miles in Japan. An hour after the earthquake occurred, the Sendai airport was flooded by the tsunami. The tsunami moved cars and planes and it flooded more buildings when it started to travel inland. A lot of vehicles were engulfed by the tsunami because cars couldn't outrun the water. Although the tsunami was hard and the Japanese community is still gaining back their country, the Japanese know what a tragedy it was, and they will keep working hard to help their land, help their land, and gain back their strength. Thanks for watching our video. Hope you liked it. Wee.